What up, YouTube? This video is taken on this Saturday morning, March 23rd, 2024. Time right now is 10.38 a.m. And I'm here at the Orlando Sun Resort. And uh, this has been on my list to fly for a long time. Uh, the backstory is that they had quote unquote security here that would kick you out. And by security, I mean that uh, it was, it, this is my opinion that it was just a bunch of meth heads that were just very hostile. That they said that they worked for the company that owned it and that they were security. But I think that they were just really hostile to try to keep their little place of habitation going. So I tried to fly here before with Stacy and got ran out by them. And there's tons of stories of people trying to fly here with the same exact story uh, that uh, they got kicked out by them. But uh, a couple of months ago, Adam the Woo posted a video that that situation is no more and that you can explore it again. So he posted a video of that. And when he did that, I told myself that I wanted to um, I said, self, I want to go and fly this place. So I kind of had it a goal to fly this place, but never really made it, a, never really made it out here. But then Adam Wu posted a new video saying that, um, they made an announcement that they sold the place and they're going to demo it and, uh, put in a new hotel and a resort area. But um, I haven't really looked into it. I only saw the Adam the Woo video. And there's one of two ways. It's either that that was a legitimate, like that's actually going to happen, or they just posted that to build up hype to try to get funding. Yeah, I didn't realize the roof was this caved in. So, yeah, we'll get self and fly. That must have recently just happened. Um, I noticed that a local FPV pilot, Swift Fox, flew here a while ago. Well, not a while ago, a couple of weeks ago. I'm trying to think what's a good place to set up. Probably right here. Okay, we're all set up. I'm flying a DJI today. I've been flying a lot of HD Zero for freestyle, but I don't have um, both HD Zero quads running. And it's kind of funny, I just got both DJI pods back up in the air flying. And um, as soon as I do that, I snap the arm off one of my Questor frames, and I didn't have any. So, a lot of water. Got to keep that in mind. And uh, I didn't have any spare arms. So yesterday I made a full sheet of arms, 13 arms. That's the first time I did that. Uh, but they're not ready yet. I just cut them out yesterday. I got to get them ready. Well, I didn't realize the roof was just collapsed. But, oh, man, I'm glad I brought DGI because I know, know I can do a lot more with DGI than HD0 in this situation.
So let's explore. I don't want to lose a quad so early on. When Swift Fox flew here, he uh, didn't go inside the building. I should have reached out to him to ask him if he had any inside information about the situation. Whoa, I didn't see. Was that some kind of scraggle? I didn't see. Oh, yeah, there's scraggle right there. So, yeah, I'm definitely glad I brought BGI. Oh, Raggle and water. I think I would like to get a roof dive in. I'll just have to plan out where would be a good exit. Are all the... Is this one broken too? Okay. So since Bright Sun Films has been here, all these sun roofs have been broken. Well, I guess I can, probably the best one would be dive through that single hole, the first hole, and then come out the front of the building. Looks pretty clear. So it would be dive into this one, and then, yeah, that's pretty clear. And then if I lose it, at least I won't be climbing um, Oh, the AC is running there. You see that? Got it. It wasn't smooth. I uh, just recently flashed WTFOS MSD OSD on here, and I don't know if it's because I'm not used to flying this DJI quad in a while, but it seems like the battery voltages aren't right. I haven't, I don't know if it's just me, I haven't actually checked it with the meter to see if the, if the battery voltages are actually not right or if it's just me. A lot of water. Okay, I'm gonna go and um, swap out the battery and we'll try to do more uh, adventurous stuff next time. Okay, now that I scooped it out a bit, I'm going to try to do more freestyle stuff. It would be cool to do a nice, oh, oh, was I released? Nope, I wasn't released. I was going to say it would have been cool to do a nice 
power loop gap in one roof out the other. And the beeper's working on this one, so that's good. I snapped an arm. I barely wrecked. That's crazy. That's disappointing. So these are hollow arms on this GRL frame. And I think they do, they're more susceptible of getting weakened. Man, two packs in and I already snapped an arm. Well, that's how it goes. Okay, same pack, different quad. Now I'm regretting that I didn't bring my, I do have one HD zero quad working, but I didn't bring it because when I have two goggles, I can't put my battery bag into the, yep, we're recording. Scraggle got me. I want to do that. Okay. So, I think the game plan is going to be, <laughs> I'm afraid of losing both quads now. Yeah, I would like to do that power loop gap. So I think the game plan is going to be, there's a little scraggle there, but I can do a power loop gap that way. I think the game plan is going to be do a power loop gap and then move on to other parts of the resort. There we go. So I got that. I'm doing a little exploration. Nice indoor fountain. which this does nothing but brings in humidity. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, that same scraggle got me. Good night. Well, I got what I wanted, so I think I'm going to move on. So even uh, DGI is not scraggle proof. Hey, how's it going? Let's go. Oh. I just flying a drone. Yeah, and uh, there's too much things coming down off the ceiling. Because when you're under the video, you can't see all those things coming off the ceiling. So, but okay, take it easy. 
Okay, let me move on to another part of the resort and see if I uh, find an interesting place to fly. that I won't get caught up in a uh, scraggle. Oh, there's a gazebo there. That would be interesting. Trying to do that power loop gap, that would be cool. There are stairs right there, so it should be recoverable. You would think. <sighs> newspapers. I mean, not newspapers. Phone book. Yeah, I'm going to try that because it's recoverable. So. Oh yeah, I noticed this yesterday. This quad doesn't seem to be flying the best. So I want to do a power loop gap. I'm probably psyching myself out more than what... Oh, almost. Almost had it. Got it. It wasn't, I kind of skyrocketed out of there too much. But what are you going to do? That's not too water damage in there. Palm number four. What's back here? Is there a pool? No, I just grass the area. I don't want to jump in a van and hotel pool again. I, I have done that before to retrieve a quad. That was actually back when I was flying Apexes and session cameras. And I think that was, yeah, that was analog because my Apex was analog. So that was a while ago since I've done that. I don't want to do that today. Palm number four. A 
this room was relatively left on intact or intact and no uh, no water damage so if you need a place to stay there you go Oh my, the is about to fall off. I'll end up breaking another arm. Okay, my camera froze, which is, that's never happened with the 1R. This has been a very good camera, this, it's a 361R. So, but it, it froze when I hit the stop button. So we'll see if I lost all that footage or not. Hopefully the DJI Action 2 was reliable at least. Uh, so let's go and see if there's any uh, thing else at this resort. I forget how many acres this resort is. I was watching the video from Wrights on the way here. Like I feel like when they said how many acres it was, there must be a lot more to this resort than what I'm currently looking at. Oh, there's the pool. Want to stay away from that. Old oh, abandoned forklift. Okay, I think this is a a washer tumbler. A dryer? A dryer or washer tumbler. That's pretty cool. There's... Oh, the water treatment facility must be back. Which is fenced off. Go beyond a fence that's beyond the fence. Uh, might as well. While in Rome, right? Skunk ape crossing. <laughs> yeah, we won't fly there. It seems like uh, there's a motorhome there, so there's probably someone um, residing back there. I guess we'll fly in this little gazebo area. Okay, we'll fly this little area here. Should be semi-interesting. Welcome. I'm feeling a little raindrop.
there we go, got it. Just as far as like ripping trees and stuff, this is a pretty cool spot. I gotta do at least one trivia spin before I leave here, right? I'm getting a little drizzle on me. Oh, there's a little drizzle on my FPV cam. Yeah, I was going to come here yesterday morning after work, but it was totally downpouring. We haven't had rain in so long here that I don't, I didn't think about that it was going to get rained out. Well, I guess we're getting back into the rainy season, huh? Okay, I think I'm going to head on out. Uh, like I said, this has been on my bucket list for a long time, and I finally got it checked off my bucket list. Oh, isn't that nice? Thanks for coming. So I'm glad I finally got it checked off my bucket list and uh, left relatively unscathed, I guess. Let me get a. Gotta get an Instagram photo, or did it even happen? Let's see here, photo. But uh, I want to head on out. I might rip the place that I flew with Stacy several years back when we got kicked out by security. But uh, yeah, I thought I was filming. Hopefully, um, hopefully it'll stay like this for a little longer, and uh, I'll try to come back and fly some more here. Um, it's definitely not as big as I thought. But uh, for some reason, I thought it was a lot bigger, unless I'm missing out on something. But yeah, it was nice, nice to be able to cross the place off my list that's been on my list for a while. There's definitely uh, scrappers here. There's um, people visiting. There's two guys with uh, cameras right there walking in. And, there was people who actually uh, 
drove in to take photos. I wouldn't drive here. There's too much questionable stuff on the ground that can uh, get in your tires. So there's the tennis court. Um, let's see here. I might have just enough time. I might fly this. Uh, I don't know what this thing was. It, if it was like a, a Sonic a drive up place. This is what we flew last time that we got kicked out. Okay, here we go. It's kind of funny, back when I flew this last time, when we got kicked out, I was kind of new at flying spots. So this was like really exciting for me, but looking at it now, it doesn't seem that exciting. I had to look on that video to see how my flying was back then. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if this was a bank or like a Sonicare or a Sonic, not Sonicare. Sonic or it was like, oh no, actually you don't, for some reason I thought you drove up in between here, but it must have been some kind of bus station maybe. Well, I should get a thing of the sign. And there we go. The Orlando Sun Resort. It has an interesting history. It's actually from the 70s. It was one of the first... Uh, hotels that was built outside of the Disney property when Disney came to town. So it's kind of funny when I was test flying these DJIs, I test flew them yesterday to make sure they were running it right. They were flying, I felt like they were flying totally different than my Questar frame because that's all I've been flying recently. But it's kind of funny not thinking about it, I just kind of adapt it. And these have higher KV motors, so you had to give it a lot more throttle to recover on the bottom end. Plus they're a lot heavier. Got a loose, loose prop. What a way to end, huh? Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.